Hi everyone, this is Abby, your DaVinci Resolve Certified Trainer in Dubai, and I would like to welcome everyone to Simply Resolve. Our topic for today would be about subclips. So if you're going to ask me, are subclips necessary? Do you really have to create subclips? Well, here in Simply Resolve, I want you guys to have a workaround on the projects that you're creating. So remember, there are instances that we have rolling takes. So that one, if you're going to import the media clip, it would be too long for the timeline or even in the media page. So this is where subclips will come in handy. So now I'm going to show you how we can create a subclip. So you just have to open your project and then you can choose which clip you can actually create a subclip from. So this one is too long. So what we're going to do is we can create in and out points. After you have created the out point, you just have to right click on the selection and then choose create subclip. So it will be automatically added on the media pool. What if you want to change the parameters of your subclip? So you just have to right click on the media pool and then check on edit subclip and then it will give you a pop-up window wherein you can change the time code. You can click on update or cancel if you don't want to change anything. Since it's in the master folder, you can now use the subclip on your cut page or edit page. So that's how easy it is you can create your subclips from the media page of DaVinci Resolve. Again, this is Abby, your DaVinci Resolve certified trainer and thank you for watching Simply Resolve. See you again next week and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!